Hello friends, this video on classification of elements part 14 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. Before watching this video, please make sure that you have watched part 1 to part 13. Now let's see how can we classify the metals, non-metals and metalloids in a periodic table. So the elements can be divided into metals, non-metals and uh, metalloids also. So metals are 78%, so the majority is metal and they appear on the left hand side. So all these blue ones if you see are the metals. This one, the grey color is metalloids, and the green one are the non-metals. So this is the classification of metal element. And the one with the white, for these, uh, the chemical properties are not known whether they are metal or. So you see, most of these are uh, metals. Seventy percent, as far as we say, are metals. Most of these are metals. A few of them, the green ones, are the non-metals, and a uh, few of them are metalloids. Correct. The properties of metal non metals we have also learned this in class 10. So metals are generally solid and room temperature, mercury is an exception. And they have a high melting boiling points, they are good current of heat and electricity and they are malleable and ductile. So these things we have learned also when we are in class 10. And non metals they are generally solid or gas with room temperature with low melting point and boiling point. Here also we have exception boron and carbon. They are not current of heat and Electricity, here also we have exception with graphite, right? And most of the non metals are brittle, but they are not malleable or ductile, right? And this trend we know that the elements become more and more metallic as we go down the group. The non metallic character increases as we go from left to right. If you see in the periodic table, also, right, these guys were non metal. So if you go here, the non metallic character increases. And if you see the change from metal non metal is abrupt. If you see this, there is a zigzag actually like this, right? So these were non metals and these were metals. So there was a zigzag thing. So if you see like this, so there was a zigzag like this. All these were non metals, these were metals. And the elements like silicon, germany, marsnik, antimony, and telmony, these, these are the elements which border the zigzag line. And these elements have a property of both metals and non-metals. So they are sometimes called semi-metals or also metalloids. See here, one thing I told that the elements become more metallic as we go down the group. The reason I am telling is, if we go down the group, we'll explain this also. Uh, the more number of uh, shells get added, right? And the shielding effect happens. Shielding effect. and the size of atom increase. So the control of nuclei over electron is this. So electron can easily jump out. And metallic character is nothing but uh, the character of an element to lose an electron is called metallic character, right? So metal is nothing but any element which can lose the electron, which can lose electron. So if they, if they lose electron faster, they are highly metallic. So if you go down the group, there's a there are more uh, shells added, there are sending effects. So these nucleus, they are not able to control these electrons and they can easily jump out of this atom. And thus the tendency of this particular element, I mean the tendency of the atoms, uh, elements to lose electron increases as we go down the group. And that's why the element becomes more and more metallic as we go down the group. So we'll discuss these concepts more when we talk about uh, the trends. Thank you. Visit examfear.com to watch free educational videos, try free online tests, get the best quality study materials, study from the best tutors and mentors and much more. Thanks once again.